Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. This is another video in our Divi for Beginners series. You can find the link to that playlist down below. Okay, we've got a little sort of about us section here. It's got our logo, a bit of info, call to action button, and a big title here. Looks fine on desktop, but on tablet and mobile, it might not look so good. Fantastic thing about Divi is you can build from mobile upwards if you want to, or desktop downwards, however you like to build your sites. And I'll show you exactly how you can have completely different layouts for tablet and mobile. For instance, I'm using Google Chrome here. If I hit my F12 key, we're looking at it on desktop here with a white background, colored logo, and writing on the right hand side. I'm going to hit my F12 key. Let's actually go to an iPad next. I'll go down to an iPad Air. Let's make it big so you can see what's going on. If I roll down that same section on an iPad, it's got an image in the background and a white logo, white writing. And we still got our little call to action button there. It takes us down to that section down there. Okay. If I now switch that from tablet view to mobile phone view, let's go to an iPhone 12. We've got a section. It's now got the blue writing centered in the middle. We've got a white logo, white writing, justify. And we've still got our little call to action button there. If I take it back to desktop, go back up to where we were. There it is. And it's back to having our white one there. Really easy to do. And you can do this with any module, row, or section. Decide whether to have it displayed on tablet and mobile. Let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual build. Okay, build is loaded now. I've actually undone what I did for this. Here's our original section here. And I've got a section, the blue tab inside the section. I've got a green tab for the row with two columns in it. Inside the left column, I've got a blurb module with my logo as the image and a bit of info there. I've got a little call to action button underneath and a little title over here with some huge text on it. Like I say, this looks great on desktop. It may not look so good on tablet and mobile. And you can easily check when you're in the builder. If you go down to your little purple button, expand it. Over on the left hand side, you'll see a little bar. We've got a desktop icon. We're on desktop at the moment. We've got a tablet icon. If you click on it, tablet view will take us to the tablet view. We can roll on down. There's our little section. It's okay but I'd like the title to be on the top and perhaps a different background the image we had in our example earlier. If we flip it to phone again back down to the left hand side there flip it to phone. Again that's actually all right and we've obviously center aligned that text on phone but again we want that title at the top and perhaps make it on a dark background for this. So let's do that. Like I say if you want to you can start from mobile and build up. We're on the mobile right now. Let's make it how we want it on mobile. Okay, so our original works on desktop. So I'm going to leave one at the top here for desktop. I'm going to go up to our section here, the blue tab for the section. I'm going to hit the little duplicate button, two little squares there. So we now got two of those on top of each other. I'm going to go down to the one that's below. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a different background so we can tell which one's which here. I'm going to go in there. I'll give it something ugly for a background. <laughs> Let's give it a red, perhaps. There's the color. We did a whole video on backgrounds. You can do some fantastic things with background. OK, great. Well, we can see what we've got here now. Let's just save that. I want my title to be on top. So I'm going to drag it up. I'm just left clicking. I'm holding my left mouse down taking it to where I want it, releasing my left mouse button. We've now got our title on the top. We've got a blurb module underneath. I'm going to make that writing white so it stands out. So I've just clicked on the mo blurb module to go in there. To get to the writing, you can just go to the little paintbrush or you can go over to design tab and down to body text. I'm happy for it to be justified the way it is at the moment. I just want to change it to a light color so we can see it. Fantastic. And of course, you can change your font or anything you want there as well. Well, that logo is OK, but on a red background or even a colored background, I'd like perhaps to have a white logo. 
So as we're still in the blurb there, that's just the image. If I go back to the content, that's where we find the image and icon, I'm going to switch it out for our mobile. So I'm going to click on the existing icon. I've got a white version of my logo right there. I'm going to click on it. We'll pop that in there. I think that stands out a bit better to me. Obviously, you put in what you want to, and you can make it bigger or smaller over the, in the design and sizing if you need to. I'm fairly happy with that, but I don't really like the red. I just put that there so we could make sure we were working on the right section there. So let's add an image and blend the two colors for a bit of fun. Let's save that. I'm going to go back into this section. Back to the background, which is always under content. I'm going to go over to image. You've got color, gradient, image, background video, background pattern or background mask. I'm going to add an image. I think I'll use the same one I used for our little hero section up there, the little chat by the computer. And there it is, and that kind of works. But this is all getting a little bit lost here. So I'm just going to roll down. I'm going to blend that color with this. And we went through all these features in our backgrounds video. You can find that in the Divi for Beginners playlist down there. Background image blend, I'm going to switch it to multiply. There we go. And that makes all this stand out a lot better down there. So I'm happy for that for our mobile. Remember we're on mobile down on the left here. So what I want to do is I want to go in my top one and say I only want to display this one on desktop and this one I only want to display on mobile. Well we're on this one already so let's just take care of this one. This is common to all modules, rows and sections if you go over to advanced. You'll find visibility down there. You can just say disable on. Well we want this one on phone so I won't disable it on that but I don't want to see it on tablet. And I don't want to see it on desktop. And you'll notice when we're editing, these will still show, but they'll be a little grayed out if they're not visible on that particular view. Let's save this, and you'll see that when I make this one only visible on desktop. So again, I'm going to go into the section, I'm going to go down to advanced and visibility. We don't want to see it on phone. Watch what happens when I click on it. It's kind of grayed out. That lets you know it's not going to be visible in this view. And I don't want to see it on tablet, but I do want to see it on desktop. Great. Well, let's save that. And we can have a completely different one for tablet. Let's just roll this open for tablet. I think this is okay for tablet. Just might want to center align that and we'll change the background so you can see the difference there. So I'm going to go into this one. I'm going to duplicate it with the two little squares. So we've got two again. I'm going to leave that one on the bottom. I'll leave that one for the actual mobile version. And we'll go in the middle so we've got desktop, tablet and mobile. Don't have to do this, just me being me. So let's go into this one. Firstly, we want to go over to advanced visibility make sure that it's visible on tablet so uncheck that and we don't want it on phone or desktop great well that background I'm going to go in there background always under content I'm going to change that color to a black that's all I'm going to do you can take the photo for your way if you want to by going over to background image roll over the dark field there there's a little trash can great I'm fairly happy with that. All I really want to do is pop that text in the middle there. So let's save the section. We're happy with that. And if we roll down, that one's grayed out, letting us know it's not going to be visual on this version, as is the one above. I'm just going to go in here. All I'm going to do is pop that text in the middle design. Or you can hit the paintbrush, take you straight there. Roll down. I'm going to pop it in the middle. Great. Well, I'm happy with that. Let's just save our changes here. So that's not going to show, and that's not going to show on tablet. Let's go back to mobile. That's not going to show. And this is going to show on mobile. And I've gone back to desktop here. Those two are grayed out. So this one is going to show on desktop. 
just to make sure that's going to work. Let's save our changes here. We'll exit the Visual Builder. Roll on down. There's our desktop version. You'll notice there's no other versions under it or above it or anything like that. If I hit my F12 key, we left it on phone version. If I roll down here, there's the phone version with the image in the background. Let's switch that to iPad, iPad Air. And there's an iPad version with the black background. I think I've actually got those two sections the wrong way round. Let's just switch them around. It couldn't be easier to switch them around. I'll enable the Visual Builder again. And we'll roll on down. Desktop is fine. This one is actually the one I want on mobile. So I'm going to go into this one. Over to Advanced Visibility. Enable it on the phone by unchecking it and disable it on the tablet. Great. And in a second, I'll show you a little trick. If you actually want to keep it as two columns on tablet, there's a little bit of code we can write. That's not really beginner stuff, but I'll show you in a minute for anybody that's interested. Great, so we've got that one on mobile. And this is the one we want on the tablet. So again, into the section, advanced visibility, uncheck the tablet, we want it visible, and check the phone, invisible. Save our changes save everything and let's check it on the front end we'll roll back down we know our desktop one's good let's hit my f12 key that should bring up the ipad air this time let's just make it a bit bigger for you if we roll down that's right here's our one with the image i think i might have put that in the middle might look better that way great let's have a look on a the phone there and there's the one with the dark background on the phone. Great little features to have. Fantastic options. Like I say, if you want to, you can design from mobile upwards with the Divi theme. It's great. Okay, uh, if you want to keep these two columns together on tablet, this is a little advanced, but I'll show you anyway for anybody that's interested. Let's enable the Visual Builder again. And we'll go down and let's delete the tablet version, which was, I think, this red version down here. Okay, well, I'm going to go up. I'm going to duplicate our top one again, our desktop version here. Let's make this one visible again only on tablet. Into the section, advanced visibility. We want it visible on a tablet, not on the desktop. So grayed out it's not visible on desktop okay let's go to tablet view right here's our top one so we won't see that one here's our one that's available on the tablet say you wanted to keep those in two columns they've sort of collapsed down into one column which is fine for some things but you might not want it at some time so what you can do on the tablet version itself you can go in there make sure you go into the row green tab for a row advanced custom CSS they've got a freeform CSS tab there they've just brought in which is awesome we'll do some on that in future videos we want module elements here which is the old one that they had you've got a before pseudo element main element that's the one we want in the main element I'm gonna write two little words I'm gonna say display colon and then the word flex semicolon and as you can see they jumped side by side there so you've got your two columns you might want to right align this text on this particular version let's just do that I'm going to go into my text module of course you can flip these from whichever side you want let's just go in there and hit the paintbrush to go to the text just going to go down align it right that seems to fit on there okay I might adjust it a little bit but that's fine you get the idea with the display flex and it's only going to work on this one so it'll be two columns let's just make sure that's going to work on the front end save our changes here exit the visual builder we'll roll on down there's our little desktop version when I flip flip now 
to tablet version that's iPhone on iPhone we still got our single columns or columns stacked on top of each other on an iPad we should have two columns here and there it is just like that and that's a way of just getting around the design features I'll put that display flex code just down below for anybody who might want to copy and paste it be careful with it though check all your designs now whenever you're designing they may look good on tablet mobile and desktop versions on your computer it's always important if you can to try and check them on the actual devices you may need to do a little bit of tweaking but it gives you the option to do that which is great so there is how to design from mobile upwards and have separate sections for tablet phone and desktop versions i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to the youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesigningtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day